You know, this is all about uh, good governance, okay, in a community. And uh, what are the advantages of good governance over areas that do not have good governance? And some of the generalized statements are that if you have a community with good governance, they use their resources more carefully. They're more efficient, the quality is higher, and people see more results. This is important, and I'll give you one example. Right? In the uh, Bangladesh, in one community, in one, they are currently uh, surviving because they get grants from the government, and they get grants from an outside source. The idea is to make these types of communities sustainable. And the way to make them sustainable is that they are producing enough that people can pay taxes and can support their own development. And this is actually happening in these communities. And the reason it's happening is because people are trusting their local government to manage the resources more effectively. So when they pay their taxes, to individuals in the local government, they are confident that the taxes will be spent back on their own community rather than going to the pockets of individuals and then disappear and they see no results. This is an advantage of good governance. Right? In communities that don't have this type of good governance, people are not willing to pay. They're not willing to pay their taxes. Right? They're not willing to contribute their time because they don't feel they'll be rewarded in the end. They don't feel that anything comes back to them. 